Sul Sul, hello and Labis. Welcome to another episode of the Pain Family's Ultimate Decades Challenge. The year is 1323 and today is Wednesday. Now, if you're watching this very, very much in the future, you can skip this next little intro. I'll have it marked. It should just say intro to video. Basically, this episode should come out April 4th, but I am moving on April 9th, and just to allow myself time to settle in, I'm planning to take two weeks off of Ultimate Decades Challenge while I'm there. I don't really like working too far ahead with Ultimate Decades Challenge because I like to get the input from all of you who have been watching from the beginning. So I won't have a chance to work ahead. So instead I've done like a little mini challenge that should come out during those days. And I hope that you enjoy it. It is very different to Decades. So don't feel like you have to like it. It's just something a little bit different that I wanted to try out. but. Decades won't be going on for two weeks. It's just while I'm getting settled and then it'll be picked back up again. Don't worry. And this other challenge is just going to be a small little challenge. So it shouldn't take away too much time. Knox, where are you going? Oh my goodness. So Knox has learned how to crawl and he's been crawling around for a while now uh, through the night. Just, you know, I guess doing what he does, doing what he does. Huxley is currently the only one up today. Um, it, it's been a rough night for sleeping and for a bunch of other things. I say it for a bunch of other things because in the night, um, Heidi's father passed away. He died in a cow plant accident and we got the call and it was very upsetting. For these guys. They're a little bit upset by it. Today is our hunting day here, but we're going to do hunting and we're also going to do our harvest today because it should be, unless I'm very much mistaken, yeah, this is the last week of fall and all day tomorrow we're going to be spending with some of the other branches of our family. So um, we don't have a chance to be here tomorrow, so we're going to do our harvest today instead. In other news, I also got Twisted Mexi's Better Build Buy between the last episode and this one. Um, so the shopping cart is gone, which is good because it took me an, an insane amount of time to try and basically cover that up on the last one. It was a bad use of effort, so it wasn't worth doing again. Huxley's going to go around and harvest so that we can get all of the harvestables and then we'll do the taxes for that. Oh, spray area for bugs. Don't mind if I do. But yeah, then we'll do the taxes for that while everyone else is doing all of this other stuff. Somebody mentioned to me in the comment for the most recent video that I've posted, I think it was for 1322.2 that the Vitality Nectar can bring Sims back to life. And I was like, oh no, why did I waste it like that then? But I guess sometimes we just waste things and we don't realize. Um, Idis, you can make yourself useful by working on the laundry for us, okay? <sighs> Become friends with Heidi. Sure thing, Ida, sure thing. So today's going to be our harvest day since we're going to be away from the holding tomorrow, but it's also our hunting day. So we will go out hunting with Esmond and Huxley. We'll tax our belongings and we're also going to have a little family get together. So that should be nice and exciting. How is the baby doing? He's doing okay gonna do Nox's birthday um, so that we don't have as many children causing absolute chaos and anarchy and then we'll deal with all of the paperwork stuff we need to do but buddy it's you oh my gosh what a baby he's pretty cute pretty cute <laughs> Woohoo! Angelic? Oh, Nox. A little angelic baby? Okay. 
Go ahead and play with him if you don't mind. If you don't mind, please. And it's already 107. Oh my goodness, this day. Okay, so all of our harvest together comes out to be about 9,299. We owe from that 3,720 with our new 40% taxes. So that means that we're going to be left over with 27,435 simoleons. And we are going to sell some of this. We're not going to sell all of it, obviously, but we are selling some of it. So at least we don't lose all of that money. I'm not really making anything with honey these days, so that's kind of useless to us. We're not really doing anything with this because we lost our candle making station. So all of these things can go. For Nox to survive his toddler age up, he cannot roll a 4, 8, 12, or 16. So, first one doesn't count. He's fine! Woo! -hoo. So something I, oh, sorry. First of all, I moved things around. So I moved Heidi and Esmond in here because, well, they need to be closer to their children as they're growing up. And I moved Huxley's bed out here um, just because maybe he's, you know, he's getting older. Maybe he wants some space to himself. Um, but in addition, something I just thought about is that Briar has been this like really evil person pretty consistently. And it's very strange that Quinn died so abruptly to a cow plant of all things so i feel like i feel like there might be something suspicious going on with that death i really do um heidi can you please no i'm so sorry can you please potty train the baby i know that's my bad because i went into build mode and it disrupted everything um, can you go and collect the eggs and clean and give them some food? And then I guess we're back to collecting all of this stuff again. <gasps> oh my goodness, you guys. I always click open these things just because I'm curious about what's going on in the other Sims lives, even though I know they don't have phones. I always click on them. And Vilkas has several times contacted Huxley being like, oh, so-and-so's asked me on a date. And I've always been like, don't do it. Don't do it. But he's just called saying that Aramaki has asked him on a date. And should he say yes? I don't know. Maybe Vilkas is trying to find someone at least to be a mother figure. I'm not really sure how Ava's gotten to all the way to Lithuania, but maybe she has. I don't know. I don't know what to make about this. Um... I'm going to say you should think about it yourself, and if things go ahead, then let me know what you think should happen. Uh, Ava's still technically protecting Gree and the children from Rianoff, and this hasn't that hasn't come to its conclusion yet, so I don't know. I don't know what to think about this. You let me know what you think about it in the comments, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, the other thing is that today is our hunting day, which we've not gone on. And something that's interesting is that the Jane Simpson mod, archery mod, recently got an update. And so now there's a hunting spot that you can use if you have high enough um, archery skill. So I'm going to send Esmond and Huxley off to hunt that way because I don't know exactly... I don't know what they get when they do that. Can you please take shapes to Knox for me? Thanks, Itis. I know you're um unhappy currently, but welcome to life, you know? This is the medieval period. Nobody said you were going to like it. And I think that Dovile, I'm more prepared for it than I was the other day. She will get, you know, married soon. I just don't know exactly when. Oh my goodness, how interesting. So this is how it works, is they'll stand here. Oh, how interesting. Okay, so I've kind of placed it bad. But we'll give him uh, till this animation finishes and then we'll move on. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Wow, that's so cool. And he's also getting his archery skill up. I don't know why he's losing empathy. Or emotional control. Emotional control, but his is so strong. Well, whatever. We'll uh, look into that more later. Oh, at least it's calmed down a little bit. These guys have 
It's been an intense day here. It didn't go exactly to plan. There were a lot of things I had ideas about, but I guess we'll have to leave those until later. Okay, Esmond and Heidi, I know that you're very tired, but I really need you to do another woohoo. I'm so sorry. Heidi, I'm so sorry. I know you're sad, but maybe being with your partner will make you happy. Well, you're happier already. Okay, good. Esmond, will you please come and um, compliment her appearance? Wait, Heidi, don't do it. Console about her the loss of her father. Yeah. And then... Go ahead and mess around. I'm sorry. I know it's hard, but it's... I, I need you to for the challenge. For the challenge! <sighs> ah! Oh my gosh, look at that painting that Dovile made in the background here. That is so beautiful. Dovile, I think we're going to keep this one. I have never seen that before. Wow. We're keeping this one. I just, I just do not know what to have you do for fun. We just do not have that many things around here. You know? Oh my goodness. I just, what you can do is you can tell... Why are there scratches? You can read Nox to sleep. Don't do any of this. Sorry, brown head, but death comes for us all on this challenge. Okay, and Heidi, yeah, go ahead and go to sleep. Esmond, you also go to sleep properly. Don't be silly. Don't be a silly guy. Dovile, once you've done that, I guess, um... Oh, he's ready to be milked. Whoops, we missed out our opportunity today. What about you? Yep, okay, we totally missed out these things. What are you doing? Just going to hang out with Idis? Why don't you resume it? I saw you wanted to before. You can... Well, you can sell these eggs. Oh, actually, you can't. My bad. You've got to hold on to them. You can resume that one, okay? And Dovile, you can then make some butter because it just flies off the shelves here. It just flies off the shelves. And it's actually going to be Beatrice's birthday on Thursday, but we're going to go ahead and do her birthday age up today as well, um, just because it's easier to do it while we're here than to have to leave and then come back, you know? Huxley, where are you? Oh, you escaped uh, from a bear. Congrats to you, buddy. I'm proud of you. Remember all those times that you didn't? Let's stick this pigeon in there. What have we got? Duck? We'll cut up the both of them. I don't know if we needed to, but we've done it anyways. Then Huxley, you know what would be helpful? Can you go ahead and sweep? Just, just so we can stay on top of this stuff, you know? Whoa, Dovile's level 10? Good for you, kid. Good for you. We're sending our best chef off to marry a man. Well, you know, it happens. You leave baby alone? Okay, you already failed at that. <laughs> Heidi, you are going to take care of baby. Yeah, I know. He won't stop. He won't get out of the way. Oops, nope, my bad again. Feed baby. Feed baby. Bounce baby. Rock baby. Cuddle. Kiss. Okay, as for you... This is some crazy stuff going on. Can you please just apply some facial cleanser? Okay, let's change dirty diaper and let's age up this baby. Beatrice, you're about to be a big kid. Yay! Well, a bigger kid. That's right, Yava! Ooh, so flirty. <gasps> Wiggly? Oh, she's come out looking a little bit peculiar. Let's modify this kid in Cass and see what she looks like. 
And these guys make some little blonde babies, but here she is, little Beatrice. Aw, baby. Essence of flavor? Who did you get that from? Neither parent. Oh, him. He must have gotten that from one of his parents. Wow, how weird. Well, we're going to leave these guys here and head on over to London because Aiken the Third is aging up to a toddler. So I just wanted to address, I know that Grania had a birthmark on her face when we, when she was a infant and it disappeared when she aged up to a toddler and I didn't catch it last time. So I'm putting it back because I don't think that a birthmark that was that big would just disappear. Um, but I'll double check and make sure this is the right one. This guy is always in a different outfit. You are so emo. He's the most emo kid ever. I don't get him. I mean, I do. But look, he's like such an emo vampire. Every time I come back here, he's like, I want to fall in love. I'm gloomy. I'm generous. And I'm always wearing different outfits. These are your outfits, buddy. Just stick with what you've been given, okay? I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, Aiken the Third, you're up, my pal. You are up. Aiken the Second, you're going to help your kid. Actually, can we do it here so that I can actually get a good view? When does the baby age up? It has to be tomorrow. Is it today? Oh, it's both of them. Okay, then we'll do both while we're here. Aiken and Alexander. He seems like he's doing better. Um, and apparently he wants to engage in marital relations in a bush. I don't know that he really knows anybody. Oh my gosh, everybody he knows is dead, basically. Or family. Dead or family. Well, you know, sometimes I guess life is like that, huh? Especially at this time. Okay. Are you kidding me, vampire boy? <laughs> Aww, it's pretty cute. Ah, oh, fussy. Fussy toddlers. <laughs> gotta love them, gotta love them. Or do we? I mean, we do, because they're still our children, but I don't know. Can you go ahead and age up this baby? And as for you... You are pretty adorable. Can anybody help you with a potty? Did I even remember to get a potty? I feel like I didn't. Yeah. Yep, that was an oversight. Oh no, there is a potty. Oh, and intense. Wow. His children are rebelling. They're like, you know what? <clears throat> we don't have a mom and things are going to get hard for you. An intense kid... And also, a fussy kid. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's rough. Oh, he's got such a cute little smile. It's our little guy. So once again, we're going to see if he makes it. He cannot roll the number 4, 8, 12, or 16. First one doesn't count, so... He's fine. He's totally fine. So here we are at the Miskinis family's hold, uh, home. It's not a holding, it's just their home. Um, it's the middle of the night and they're all asleep. So first things first, do Darius and Vilkas go and engage in the conflict in Lithuania this year? Vilkas first. Um, the rule is heads they go and tails they stay, which we will revisit this soon so if you have any ideas about how it could be revisited to make it more less intense then let me know in the comments below but for now heads they go and tails they stay so for Vilkas does he go he does not and for Darius does he go he also does not so neither of them go this year so if you have any ideas about how we could make this a little bit less intense, the conflict in Lithuania, let me know in the comments below because I don't want the entire Miskinus line to get lost to this. And so it's 
probably going to need to be revised to be a little bit less intense. So if you have any thoughts, let me know. So today's All Souls Day, and um, I think that these guys are definitely going to participate. Uh, they have a lot of loved ones, so I don't see why they wouldn't. We might go ahead and mourn our mom. Maybe mourn our sister, our brother, our grandfather. That's what he is. Now, some things that are happening with Lithuania this year are pretty interesting. So, as we saw, Vilkas and Darius, neither of them are going to the conflict this year. But there are there actually are quite a few different conflicts this year. Um, it's not like a, a small amount. Oh my goodness. Do not call your brother. You can tell an adventure story to your siblings, okay? How about that? There's a lot of conflicts happening around this time period in the Baltics. So, for example, Gediminas, the Grand Duke of Lithuania, Grand Prince of Lithuania, he became well known in Western Europe around this time through his letters, which were largely written and sent around 1322 to 1325, and were related to his efforts to stop aggression from the Teutonic Order by diplomatic means. One was addressed to all Christians and especially focused on certain large German cities, which is interesting because the Teutonic Order originates out of Germany. So these letters emphasize three primary things. All of them emphasize the three same primary things. One, the promise of Gediminas to be baptized, along with the great respect he felt towards the Pope. Two, an invitation to foreigners to settle in Lithuania. And three, an indictment of the Teutonic Order on the basis that the Teutonic Order prevented the Christianization of Lithuania. So it's quite an interesting... Um, why do we need to apologize? Is it because we told a bad story or something? Well, sorry. Sometimes people tell bad stories. Like, I don't know what to tell you guys. Are you still out here doing your job? Elspieta, nobody likes you. But you can tell a story. In four of these letters, especially those addressed to the Hanseatic cities, there were invitations to soldiers, tradespeople, various craftsmen and artisans, and even peasants and their families to come and settle in Lithuania. The farmers who would come were promised free land and exemption from taxes for a period of 10 years, and everyone was assured extensive protection, the right to return to their own country whenever they wished, and the privilege of conducting themselves in Lithuania according to the German law of the city of Riga, so that they would, you know, sort of like have a lot of benefits for moving. He also invited members of the church, including friars, priests, and bishops, saying that he'd build two churches. And remember, you know, the freedom of religion was kind of a promise of Lithuania. It had been consistent for a long time. However, I will say that when representatives of Livonia arrived in Vilnius to negotiate about the whole baptism, Gediminas refused to discuss the matter pending the arrival of representation from the Pope. And so uh, in 1323, the two countries only made a treaty concerning peace and trade. Now, if you remember in 1322, there was a large-scale conflict and assault on the Samogitsians by crusaders, including those who were political rivals of King Vladislav the Elbow High. And um, during that conflict, it's noted that Gediminas was saved by the weather. So, children, I don't know where you're going. I'm trying to keep you out of trouble by moving you to play games with your dad. Hey, go ahead and join the game, kid. No, Elspieta, get out of here. Nobody likes you. Go here. Oh my gosh, look at these guys. They're so cute. Okay, so Gediminas during that whole conflict was saved by the weather. That is it, Sophia. You are a little jerk. Okay, Sophia? Sophia, you are being punished again. You're getting another timeout. Maybe you'll learn. Oh. 
Yikes. So they were saved by the weather um, because the Baltic Sea froze over that winter and the Grandmaster wanted to keep the Crusaders inside while the Samogitians were used to poor weather conditions. So basically, the Crusaders couldn't press on with their attacks and it gave the Lithuanians time to regroup. But in March 1323, as soon as the Crusaders went home, the Samogitians struck hard. They struck at Mamel and they captured the city, three nearby refuges for the native population and a nearby castle. They couldn't take the keep at Mamel, um, but what they did do was cast doubt on the Crusaders' ability. So it basically illustrated that the Crusaders were not going to be able to hold them off for long enough. So what happens next is basically that the Samogitians launch wide-scale counterattacks that are very effective. So in August of 1323, they struck Zambia, defeating the knights who came out to fight them. In September, they raided Kurland, sacking a major town, killing what's noted as seven monks and 60 men who were studying for priesthood and carrying away a massive number of prisoners. It's noted in the book that I've been reading that while medieval figures were usually highly exaggerated, the Teutonic Knights kept accurate tax records and therefore, the chronicler's estimate of 20,000 dead and missing must be considered within the realm of possibility. And we'll say that number again, 20,000 dead and missing. That is a massive counterattack. In addition, there was another devastating pagan raid against Mazovia, which was a Polish duchy not controlled by King Vladislav the Elbow High. And it's estimated that that left that independent Polish duchy poor by 9,000 people, 10 churches, and numerous villages. So these are some pretty devastating counterattacks being launched against the people and the holdings of those who had launched attacks against the Samogitians. It gets pretty brutal there for a while. So... I am glad that Darius, our young Darius, and Vilkas didn't have to go this year, especially Darius, because his skills, like, he has some skills. I've been working on them, but, I mean, he's he's just so young and so new. Oh, Seamus. Seamus is such a cute kid. That's what I think, anyways. Well, at least Sophia's out there making a mess and not causing chaos inside, I guess. Like, I don't know. She's a troublemaker. Oh, sure, I thought I asked you to clean out the spoiled food. Can you, like, I don't know, clean that up? What are your character values? Fear of being inferior? Since when? I don't know. Yikes. Okay. Her character- oh. Okay, her character values are pretty bad. Um, buddy, can you two please do it again? I'm sorry, it's just, I really would like for your skills to improve. Um, I don't know. Can you two just be nice to each other? Oh, sure, I'm afraid you're going to have to be the bigger person here because I don't think it's going to be Sophia. I love this family so much. And then, yeah, we can spend the last bit of this day here with these guys today. It feels like they've been children for forever. I know that they had a later start than uh, the other family, obviously, but they just feel so much younger. Seamus isn't even going to be a teenager for another, uh, I think, year? It's not until 1325 that Seamus is going to be a teen. Like how Darius is just down here stinking, stinking up a storm. Oh, our family. Uh, Seamus is here eating double servings. Well, I guess that's kind of where we're going to leave it for today then. Um, because that brings 1323 pretty much to a close. So I hope that you've enjoyed it. Um, as a reminder, I'm not giving up on decades. I'm just moving for the next week or two. So that's why there won't be any decades episodes coming. I'm just a mini challenge instead. But yeah, leave your comments about your ideas uh, below. And I look forward to seeing them and getting back to decades in just a couple of weeks. So thanks everyone for watching. 
and see you at 1324. Bye-bye, everyone.